Welcome to God's Comfort and Glory from the Second Epistle to the Corinthians by Saint Paul, Vegetarian, in the Holy Bible, Part 1 of 2, on the Words of Wisdom. Jesus Christ, Vegetarian, Prophet, Son of God, Prince of Peace, Savior, and Friend. He is known by many names. The birth in Bethlehem of this beloved spiritual master marks the beginning of the Western calendar. So important was his influence on humanity. Lord Jesus taught God's love and forgiveness to all people with open hearts. He is specially loved and remembered because of his sacrifice to cleanse the sins of his disciples and of the world. Three days after his crucifixion, he arose from the dead, as witnessed by some of his disciples. The second epistle to the Corinthians is one of 13 books of the Holy Bible authored by Saint Paul, vegetarian. After a divine encounter with the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ, Saint Paul was so deeply touched by his sacrifice that from then on he devoted his life to God and the spreading of the holy teachings for the benefit of all. The second epistle to the Corinthians was originally the contents of a letter Saint Paul wrote to the faithful in the ancient seaport city of Corinth, located in present-day Greece. Saint Paul, through concern for the spiritual well-being of the believers, expounded on Lord Jesus' teachings of God's love for all and the importance of righteous living in order to be closer to God. He reminds the faithful to abstain from eating animal people flesh, with verses including meats for the belly and the belly for meat, but God shall destroy both it and them. Today we are pleased to present excerpts from chapters 1 to 2 from the second epistle to the Corinthians in the Holy Bible, where Saint Paul reminds us to comfort each other as we are comforted by God. He also mentions forgiveness, recalling Christ's suffering and how God comforted him. Two Corinthians chapter 1 Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, unto the church of God which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all Achaia. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which raised the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. 
ye also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. For our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshy wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world, and more abundantly to you, word, toward you. For we write none other things unto you, that what ye read or acknowledge, and I trust ye shall acknowledge even to the end. As also ye had acknowledged us in part, that we are your rejoicing, even as ye also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence I was minded to come unto you before, that ye might have a second benefit, and to pass by you into Macedonia, and to come again out of Macedonia unto you, and of you to be brought on my way toward Judea. When I therefore was thus minded, did I use lightness, or the things that I purposed, do I purpose according to the flesh, that with me there should be yea, yea, and nay, nay? But as God is true, our word toward you was not yea and nay. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Silvanus and Timotheus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yea. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now he which established us with you in Christ, and has anointed us, is God, who has also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call God for a record upon my soul, that to spare you I came not as yet unto Corinth. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for by faith ye stand. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 But I determined this with myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you sorry, who is he then that makes me glad, but the same which is made sorry by me? And I wrote this same unto you, lest, when I came, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, that my joy is the joy of you all. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. But if any have caused grief, he has not grieved me, but in part, that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this banishment, which was inflicted of many, so that contrarywise ye ought rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm your love toward him. For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also, for if I forgave anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it, in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Titus my brother, but taking my leave of them, I went from thence into Macedonia. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that perish. 2 
unto the one we are the savor of death unto death, and to the other the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God speak we in Christ. Vegan, cause we cannot do otherwise to survive. Faithful viewers, thank you for your lovely company today for Words of Wisdom. 